Hey guys, Dimitri from The Score Esports. Look, it's no secret that Rainbow Six Siege has been home to some pretty broken operators. Whether it's Blitz with his flash-banging shield, or Maestro with his scuba helmet that shoots laser beams, there's a myriad of characters who are both blatantly imbalanced and downright rage-inducing. How does that hit me, dude? What the fuck? I literally hear it attached to the wall. It's supposed to have a two-second delay. So we thought, why not rank them? Now we present to you the top 10 broken operators in the history of Rainbow Six Siege. Kicking off our list is everyone's favorite stalker, Pulse. This operator is bullshit. You know it, I know it, and he knows it. Just look at that fucking smirk. Prior to patch 4.1, you could switch from Pulse's cardiac sensor to his primary in half the time. Instead of having to wait for Pulse to close his sensor down, you can actually just weapon swap and voila, there you go, you got your shotgun, good to go. Considering this was back when shotguns were actually good, the super fast switch time made Pulse an absolute juggernaut. I'm the juggernaut, bitch! Oh, and let's not forget Pulse's signature C4 through the floor trick which with an even faster switch time, became nearly impossible to evade. <laughs> Coming in at number 9 is present day Echo. Time to be efficient, and kinda lazy. For starters, his yokai can gather intel, disorient attackers, and deny plants while they're going down. Yokai drone though, from Leon, will deny the plant. It has an unlimited number of charges, and to top it all off, he gets two of them. Step one, lay down. Step two, get on your drone and gather intel. Step three, get up and shoot them. And then step four, lay the hell back down. Then there's his ACOG'd primary, which despite being suppressed, actually boasts a higher damage output than the MP5s wielded by both Doc and Rook. Guess what? Echo's gun does a higher damage per second than either Rook or Docs. Echo's gun is actually a better gun and it has a suppressor. Please explain the logic behind that one, Ubisoft. He could still get this plant down, but the Yokai drone is probably gonna have something else to say about that, as it's coming up on him right now. Only three seconds left, and it might be bad timing for Fabian, but it also might be the clutch, as now Redeemer is stuck in the plant, and he's gonna get eliminated. What a clutch from Fabian. Taking the 8th spot on our list is Messere Maestro himself. Pizza time. Ah, uh, Maestro. While not broken per se, he is arguably the strongest operator in all of Siege. No damage done, the second will connect though from Fat and Phase. This Astro Mav. Find another Yuna with a double kill, Yuna with a triple. His nearly indestructible evil eyes can destroy utility, spot looming attackers through smoke, and well, shoot fucking laser beams at anything that moves. Fucking laser sights. The thing is, it doesn't stop there. His 80 bullet LMG is stronger than most attacker weapons, has an ACOG, and he's free to create as many rotation holes as he pleases with his pistol, since it's basically a shotgun. Seriously, why wouldn't you pick this operator? Plant going down and Redeemer will go for two big kills for Redeemer 3! Oh my goodness, puts himself at a 1v1. Diffuser needs to go down and Redeemer with the clutch! Coming in at number 7 is probably the single most oppressive operator in all of Siege, Blitz. It's safe to say that there's never been a time when Blitz's portable, bulletproof, flash-banging wall of death hasn't been a certifiable nightmare to behold. Eliminates Rizras as he tries to come to sight, and the completely blinded bandit stands no chance to Julio. I hate that. What is that electric thing you just did? It's a flash. Oh. It's a flash. Yeah. Bro, oh, I hate bullets. I mean, really? Just look at this asshole. Desce, desce. Tá comigo, tá comigo, tá comigo. God, I'm super Top four eliminated. Taking the number six spot on our list is Twitch, right around when Ubisoft gave her a second shock drone. Following patch 4.2, Twitch not only held the F2, but had two utility-destroying, silent, shin-shocking RC cars at her disposal. 
Five health left to go. Sneakily is going to tuck himself inside of the B site. Pangu spots him, ah. tags him with a Twitch drone, and that's going to be one Twitch kill here right onto the feet of Secretly. At one point, her drones held a combined total of 30 shock charges, meaning that in addition to being able to destroy every piece of utility in sight, she could theoretically down three defenders without ever leaving her spawn. It was very stupid. One more and he's down, I think. Yep. Op four last operator standing. <laughs> Finish him! To this day, Twitch continues to be one of the strongest attackers in the game. My problem with Twitch is that I feel like I wouldn't have a problem with Twitch's gun if her gadget wasn't one of the best gadgets in the game. Coming in at number five, we have Glaz, when his scope first got thermal vision. Now, while Komrad Glaskov was intended to be a long-range sniper, the addition of thermal vision to his flip sight made him more suited for entry fragging. What do you believe the main point of Glaz is or was supposed to be? A sniper, perhaps? Like a long-distance, wall-destructing, hard-hitting operator? Nah, 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 guys. He's literally a point man now. There's also the fact that it could see through smoke, which allowed for shit like this. <laughs> they can't see me. <laughs> Yo, Glass is now overpowered, but he's way broken. And considering he carried three smokes with him, there was little to no room for counterplay. You kind of just had to sit there and take it. Yep, that was awesome. Get out of here, baby. Glass was on objective. Got him. God, he's a monster! Taking the fourth spot on our list is none other than Nomad. <laughs> Able to literally knock a defender on their ass, air jabs have quickly cemented themselves as one of the greatest post-plant perils in the game. It turns out that introducing a form of hard stun into Rainbow Six Siege makes for some pretty aggravating gameplay. Like Nomad does the one thing that video games should never do. She takes away the control from the user completely. You cannot move, you cannot run, you cannot shoot, you cannot breathe, you cannot do anything, you cannot fight back. Nomad is literally the definition of broken in any competitive game. In addition to becoming the bane of pro league players everywhere, a certain Claymore interaction made air jabs some of the most broken shit in Siege. Oh, there he goes, I just watched it. Fuck That's yeah. the best one yet, man. <laughs> <laughs> Taking the number three spot on our list is the absolute terror that was Ella upon release. Her Scorpion had zero recoil and carried an impossibly broken 50 bullet magazine. Almost like an operator with 51 bullets might be broken. Oh my god, I just got shot. And let's not forget that in addition to being a three speed, she could deploy four Grismont mines, which would prevent you from sprinting and lasted for what felt like an eternity. Needless to say, her win delta was insane. Her pick rate was through the roof and she outclassed her competition in virtually every way. Amela. Okay, Amela. <laughs> Coming in at number two is an operator who's become downright famous for how broken he was upon release. That's right, we're talking about Lion. Now, there is a sense in which Lion is, objectively, the most broken operator ever released. Yo, everybody, let's have some fucking fun. Let's have some fucking fun. Let's have some fucking fun, whoa! Upon activating his EE-1D, Lion was able to track defenders' very silhouettes as they moved, making pre- and post-plant rotations absurdly easy to counter. Target acquired, and now Magnet knows exactly where he has to cut off. He's also getting Lion, also getting Ying, detected by the E-1D. Neo cleans him up. Raphael using the smoke and candela combo. He's just going to push right in. They'll have some covering fire as the artillery of glass stands in bathroom. And look at that, Raphael. They will just bully them. Vitality sweeps into the site. 
Eventually, Lion was banned from professional play entirely, while Ubisoft went back to the drawing board. Lion is an operator that we faced a unique problem with. We know that he is overpowered, and to date, the dev team is ready to act on it. Starting next season, we will put Lion in a competitive quarantine, which means that the players will not be able to pick Lion in our esports programs. Taking the top spot on our list is perhaps the single most despised operator in all of Siege, Blackbeard. Okay, you have some skill. The one whose initial concept was a literal affront to the savagery and skill intensity of the game's shooting mechanics. We've designed our game around headshots. Let's uh, put a steel wall in front of this guy's head. That's our new operator. <laughs> right now, each one of his rifle shields has 50 HP. Prior to patch 4.2, he had one shield, and it had 800 HP. As the game went on, there was a character called Blackbeard that came out in Year 1 Season 2, but had a mm -hmm. face shield, which meant you couldn't kill him um, with headshots. And I was like, oh, I'm a terrible player. I'm going to pick up this extremely overpowered character, and I'm going to use it as a handicap until I learn how to play the game properly. He was basically a shield operator with an assault rifle. Any enemy that tries to win a one-on-one -on -one firefight with you are going to lose, hands down. The reason why Blackbeard is as powerful as he is right now is that he can basically claim an entire room by himself with not really putting himself at any disadvantage whatsoever. To this day, he remains one of the game's biggest blunders and an atrocity from which it barely recovered. Uh, he a bomb. She's dead. Splash. One up. Smoke is dead. Yeah. I'm gonna plant. Yeah, plant. I'm watching train. Oh, you with train? I got him. Nice round. Well, guys, that's our list. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let us know in the comments what other siege related top 10s you wanna see. See you next time. Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, hit the sub button and ring that notification bell. For unique bite sized videos you won't find anywhere else, hit up our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages.